We bought everything, the house, its contents, the car, and the overgrown yard. Before renovations can begin, it's up to us to sort it all out. Welcome back. If you've been following along, you saw us start cleaning out the kitchen last week. If you missed that episode, be sure to go back and check it out. But today, we're going to finish the job by taking out the appliances and seeing what's left in the cabinets. Good morning. Um, got an interesting episode today. We are going to try and clean out some appliances. Got a, a uh, appliance dolly here that we're going to um, take out that fridge, which has never been opened. So that's going to be a huge reveal. Haven't ever heard it running, even though the electricity has been on the entire time. And then hopefully we're going to go scrap it. So that'll be a fun adventure. I did scrap some metal one time, um, but I haven't done it around here. So that will be something new. Maybe make a little money uh, enough to buy my friend lunch since he's been helping me through all this. He's held up by that train you can hear right now. He's sitting at the tracks. All right, since we have to take the doors off, the refrigerator, we're going to do the opening, the grand reveal. Right here, see what's right in it? Side. I'm going to take the strap off. Yeah. And we're going to have to remove the doors. So this is what's behind the refrigerator. All right. So first of all, let's do the top part, the freezer. Watch out, I guess if I rock jumps, Always look like Matrix. Go backwards. I don't, I don't think Ready? there's going to be anything alive in there. Ah! This rat feces though. Look at that. Oh, yeah. They do one in there too. Holy sh... Nikes. That's nasty. That's so gross. Okay, now comes the other part. Right. Oh! Schumacher. Oh! That's disgusting. Oh, that's so gross. Well, if we take the doors, so we have to take all that crap out. So we'll see, do the other one. Yeah. <laughs> let's work, let's work. That's not bad. Yeah, you're right. There's only a couple of screws in there. Instead of taking the doors off after seeing what was inside, we decided it would be better to take the condenser off and try and get it through the door that way. Once we got through the dining room, we found out it wouldn't fit through that door, so we ended up having to take the door handle off. And then we got it out onto the trailer. man. Nothing hurts. But that thing's still rolling? Yeah. Did it get you that stuff when you jump? <laughs> 220, man. I thought this plug was 220. It was 220? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's 220, so okay, yeah. so, so you know, it's like, the ship better. All right, so the first day of scrapping, we made forty-four dollars and forty-six cents. Yep, and that was for six hundred and eighty-four pounds at yep. sixty-five cents. Yep, a pound. Cool beans. Heck of a day. So soaking wet. This thing 
you know, bringing this thing out. That's gross. Look like I just went for a swim. Quick look at the 220 that nearly took me out. See how this is back here behind the fridge. Yeah. Very disgusting. I can't believe I'm about to reach my hand in here. But we gotta clean these cabinets out. That's really scary. You don't know what. <laughs> yeah, why is there a bag? Ooh, that's her. Why is there wear? You can't read it, it's gear. Oh. Oh, this is more cast iron. Cool. That's what it is. It's cast iron oh, pans. And bags. Yeah. Oh. It's covered in rat poo. Oh, yes. And then there's an ancient blender. Gross. Oh, it's green. It's a thermos. Just a thermos to put coffee in? Yeah. I think all she did was drink coffee. <laughs> she found so much coffee on tea. Paraphernalia. I think What's this in is, the drawer? I think this is actually raisin bread. <laughs> yeah, oh, it feels oh, squishy. Bro. Oh, bro. I she had a drawer liner in there. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. You don't want to know what was under the drawer liner. Of course, I wasn't recording when I found the coolest thing of the kitchen. A full set of Pyrex bowls. So cool. Make sure the snake isn't in there. There's something under the fallen shelf, like some kind of bag. Yeah. These are heavy. How heavy this is. What is it? I think it's silver one. What? This is plastic. Okay. Let's see what this stuff is. Oh, oh there's a lot of it. Oh, they're not. It is silverware. Oh, oh, pretty. So it actually, it's silver, right? I don't it, know. It is actually silver. It sure is heavy. This is just two spoons. What does this say? Pacific silver cloth? Yeah, so it's probably real silver. That's why it's wrapped up in there. It's cloth. <laughs> It's got to be like at least a pound. Wow. Look at this. I don't see any maker's mark on it though, which is a little not good. Oh wait, there's, there it is. Here we go. On the front. Oh, weird. I've never seen it on the front before. Hmm. We'll have to do a little research. See if we can lift the use that. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, it is months later. It's cold here in Florida now, and we're getting ready for a yard sale. So we wanted to show you some of our favorite finds from our kitchen clean out uh, before we sell them tomorrow. First we have this cute little copper pot. What year do you think this is from? This is kind of a weird one. It's a mustard jar. It's super heavy and we did put it out at our last yard sale and Somebody wanted to buy this until she found out that it was empty and then she didn't want to give us a dollar for it. So we're going to put it out again and see what happens. This, I believe, is a butter mold. It 
pretty little glass jar. Old hot plate, which I would not recommend using, but we still have the cord. Set of tablespoons. And now a few favorite items we've decided to keep. Here's a closer look at the primary color Pyrex mixing bowls that we pulled out of the cabinet. We dated these to the 1950s based on the maker's mark on the bottom. Here are some decorative tiles we found hanging on the walls. We thought the one on the right looked like the casa. We have this amber glass decanter. If you know the date, please write it in the comments. We also found a collection of super cute vintage tea towels. and these etched cocktail glasses. This is the winner because we have absolutely no idea what this is and we would love for you to tell us. It has two little feet that extend and then this arm that smushes into it, but we don't know what, we don't know what this is supposed to do. So put it in the comments if you know what that is. And that's it for our favorite kitchen finds. Thanks for watching.